love brunch, but let's be honest, getting up early to cook is a pain. That's why you need this overnight lemon blueberry French toast bake. Hey everyone, it's Erin from wellplated.com and I'm coming at you in my pajamas. I believe in healthy recipes that are easy, budget friendly, and that your family is going to love. If you hate getting up at the crack of dawn, especially on a Saturday to start cooking breakfast for a crowd, you need overnight French toast bake. Ingredients are just like regular French toast, bread, eggs, milk. You can doctor it up any way you like, and all the work happens the night before in your pajamas if you please. Best part, this is French toast you don't have to stand at the stove and flip. Let's get started. Grab yourself a loaf of bread, any kind you like. I'm partial to sourdough and brioche is also pretty amaze. Ideally, it's a day old because if it's a little stale, it'll be able to better soak up the custard. If your bread is super soft and new, no worries, you can always toast the cubes in the oven instead. Now we make our custard. Custard is basically a really fancy way of saying eggs mixed together with some kind of milk. So I'm using large eggs and I actually really like to make this with vanilla almond milk. It gives it a little extra something something. Time for the maple syrup. Quick tip, if you coat your measuring cup with nonstick spray, the maple syrup will slide right out. Traditionally, French toast is sweetened with sugar, but I like that maple syrup is a little more natural and it makes this a little more healthy. Vanilla extract, and then of course a pinch of cinnamon. My dad actually taught me how to make French toast and I was always trying to get him to add more cinnamon to the batter because I love it. Here's an addition I did not grow up with but have come to love and that is lemon. Use both the zest and the juice. You wanna get the maximum value out of your citrus and this just makes the French toast taste light and bright. It really is something a little extra special. You can serve it for friends. They'll be totally wowed by how put together you are in the morning. You can serve it to someone in bed, Mother's Day brunch, you name it. Whisk it all together, and now we pour it over our bread cubes. Uh, go slow here. This custard absolutely loves to splash, and you don't want to miss a single bit of this goodness. Just coat the bread as evenly as you can. You can always press it down and even it out with your fingers just to make sure that all our cubes are taking a nice bath. Now for the bloobs. Yum! Blueberries, you can use fresh if they're in season, or actually frozen blueberries work really well too. You don't even need to thaw them first. In the fall, I like to make this with thinly sliced apples. Strawberries are good. Really, you can do whatever you are in the mood for at that moment. Okay, what the heck, let's put on some more. Nobody's gonna be mad if there's too many blueberries. All right, I'm just about done. Just cover up this casserole. Really, you can let it soak for two hours if you are in a rush, but the move is to do it overnight because then all I have to do in the morning is wake up and pop it into the oven. Sweet dreams. Why, good morning! Our French toast casserole has been resting overnight. The sun is up and I'm a happy girl because I got to sleep in. Let the French toast come to room temperature. This is a great time to brew yourself some coffee. And then we are going to pop it into the oven. By the time my friends arrive, our house is going to smell absolutely incredible and I will feel completely put together. Everyone will be wowed wondering how you pulled this off. Good morning to me. Our French toast bake is puffed and golden. Those blueberries are bursting and I got to sleep in. To finish it off for presentation purposes, I like to dust on a little bit of powdered sugar. It makes it look so pretty. And then if you are serving a crowd, this is fantastic because everyone can kind of just come over and scoop their own. Forget having to stand at the stove and flip French toast. If you are a fan of super easy recipes like this one, don't miss my blender banana oatmeal pancakes. The blender does all the work in that one, and if you can't tell, I am very into breakfast recipes where I don't have to think too hard. I love the way the top gets nice and golden and crunchy, and then that inside is really soft and fluffy. It tastes truly special, so if you ever wanted to treat someone for a special brunch, maybe breakfast in bed, French toast bake will just make them feel fancy. I love making this for my friends. Now, I'm dying to dig in, but before I do, gotta have that maple syrup. And now, this is about to become an even better morning. Yum! 